The part of the road to be worked upon stretches from Kitgum House near the traffic lights right through to parts of Ginger Road. The section there has been assessed to be fairly good and we shall do some repairs there and put on an overlay. However, the road right from the Uganda Management Institute is to be reconstructed. So that we shall get a very strong layer which can carry the heavy traffic here. Further down towards Shopra at Lugugu Bypass, the area will also be redone. The pedestrians have not been forgotten either. The sidewalks are also going to be worked on and we shall have a new asphalt walkway which is very smooth and easy to use. Uh, we're also going to have lights. We're also going to have a, a, a linear park stretching from here right up to the bottom of the street at um, Lugogo. This money, close to nine billion, is not anybody's money, is not borrowed money, it's money raised from our own domestic earnings. I think the entire road is to be marked to avoid land crisscrossing, crossing, which currently contributes to unnecessary jam. The public has been asked to exercise patience as works progress. In other news, at the Kalera roundabout near the road leading to Gayaza and the northern bypass to Nansana is a rather deceptive, beautiful scenery. It has been here for about four months. We were surprised to see it. We know it only to invade larger water bodies. A water weed. The water higher fence has invaded the drainage system in the area and is eating its way through a water source and over land. Residents say its thickness can fool you into a treacherous end. It's so easy to fall in and drown. This is an area which floods every time it rains and now with the water higher fence, its impact is further multiplied. They are working on this drainage channel and we've really been patient. However, the weed is also contributing to keeping the dirty water around. The government should help us and speed up work on the Lubiji project. The residents are now worried for the children's safety. Most play on it thinking it's a type of vegetable and I suspect there to be many snakes. Even the mosquitoes have increased, she says. Indeed, it's a hub for filthy water and the fast maturing water higher things makes it potent as a health and environmental hazard.